Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokey One. I'm Drake Adams. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kick things off with another PvP battle. Came back to a town so we could heal up. So whenever, whenever I'm able to do that, if there's nothing too crazy like a gym fight, might as well go ahead and uh, start things off with a PvP fight. Don't really have a cool strategy here. Just toss some Pokemon together as I usually do. I'm comboing Titar with Garchomp, uh, which I don't do often. Um, Garchomp is just it's just so overused that there's just so much ice to counter him that I usually don't like to bring Garchomp. But my Garchomp is Sandvale, so most people uh, will run Rough Skin. Rough Skin Rocky Helmets is pretty much like 95% of the uh, Garchomps I see. And it looks like we have heavy walls, we have dragons, so we have Sylveon, which is going to be a problem. I feel like they might be starting Zapdos. So we're going to go Magnezone. Zapdos seems like a likely start. But yeah, people don't really run Sandvale. And we have Mimikyu here. Uh, do, do, does he have a ground type? He does have a ground type, which is our steel, which we don't mind attacking into. So I think we're going to just go ahead and click Flash Cannon in case he switches into Quagsire. He stays in. We, we break the Sash here. Here comes a Drain Punch. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Uh, and this actually might kill us. Let's go ahead and hit Flash Cannon here. The Shadow Sneak might kill us. Drain Punch on Mimikyu is very interesting. I haven't seen that before. But you can definitely did the work. And I feel like... Uh, okay. He does switch out. Here comes Zapdos. We're going we're gonna to do that hit there. We're likely going to see an electric attack or a heat wave. Probably heat wave. So I feel that we're going to go into our T-Tar now, set up the sand for Garchomp, and see if the sand veil can come in to, to good use at all. So yeah. Oh my god, he gets the burn. Must be nice, must be nice to get the burn here. I guess we'll go Stealth Rocks. And here comes Quagsire. Yeah, we don't really need T-Tar anymore at this point. We can try to get some uh, defense drops here. Since, yeah, some, some, since we aren't really doing much damage. We'll just go ahead and take those hits here. Try to get another defense drop or another chance to defense drop. And nothing doing. So T-Tar is down. We do get up rocks. Quagsire is a problem. I have Alakazam in here. Uh, actually, almost exclusively for Quagsar, so we'll see if he stays in. He probably won't. We're going to click Energy Ball just in case. And then he switches out, ooh, into Grudger, which is going to have a Sap Zipper, most likely. And he does. Okay, so he has an answer for um, for Grass Attack, which is smart. See, what, do we need Magnezone really for much of anything? Not really. We're going to go ahead and sack Magnezone here. And yeah, Paul's making some nice calls here. So Grudger's not going to do much, right? His attack stat's pretty low. Problem is, is that we do see a fairy from our opponent. Grudger's, can Garchomp take take a hit from from Gujar here? If we go into Mamas Mamaswine, he's likely going to switch out to. I think we could go Mamoswine. Mamoswine's pretty safe here. And we're likely going to see Gujar switch out because he's pretty much useless. So it's likely going to be one of these three. I think uh, Starmie is a... Starmie is the most likely, likely source, but no, it's going to be Quagsire. We do get in a nice big hit here, though. Let's go Ice School Crash to try to make him flinch here. 30%, he goes Recover. And we're, we're going to see another... Another Recover, I would imagine. Um, unless he's going Earthquake. He goes Recover. He knows that we have Grass Attack, so I think he's going to switch out back into his Sap Zipper. Oh no, he goes in the Mimikyu. I guess a test to see what, what we are clicking. 
but we'll take that. We'll take that pickup. Here comes Gudrun. Now Gudrun does uh, absorb all of our special attacks. Question is, what's he gonna go with? Is he gonna go Heat Wave or like Flamethrower to go against the Scizor? He might go another. Let's go Scizor. Mm. That Sylveon's a problem though. But we have to protect Alakazam, so we can't break down that Quagsire. He's going Fire or Draco Meteor here. So he does go Draco Meteor, which is actually very helpful. Special attack harshly falls. I think we can go ahead and roost. Four times weak to fire. Hmm. Four times weak to fire, but he's down two stages. I'm kind of curious to see if we live this. So yeah, we go, go ahead and get the roost in. So that's helpful. There it goes. Zapdos doesn't like to take that. Question is, is Zapdos his defogger? Probably is, but we're going to go ahead and go into Guard Chomp. See if he gets gets off a defog or if he goes for a heat wave. He goes defog. Okay. We're going to Sword Stance here. And into Sylveon. Now, this is going to be interesting. We have a plus two. We're going to click Earthquake. See how much damage we can do. He switches out into Quagsire, who's going to have Unaware. So that's actually unfortunate click earthquake again see if he goes for like a toxic of some sort he goes for earthquake himself wow okay and click another earthquake can we do 39 i think we're doing 36 oh two percent man okay i guess we're just gonna keep clicking earthquake and see if we can uh, get a crit if not we'll just try to spam out his recovers Uh, Quagsire is a pain, and with the, with with the unaware Swords Dance is not doing us any favors here. Here comes the Earthquake, 29%. There you go, 39%. This is a problem with walls, but it's a situation that that we have to deal with. We could get a crit. Actually, I, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to click Outrage and force him to switch out here. We'll just use the last of our Earthquakes. Might as well use up as, as many of his recovers as possible. Okay, now, now there's a Curse, so now let's actually force him to switch out now. Oh wow, that did even less. <laughs> that did even less. Hmm. Yeah, this Quagsire, even though we have the Alakazam, the Quagsire is just going to be too much of a problem. He, he has so many switch-ins for this. Last time we went Psychic. See, does Trick help us out at all here? Probably not. I think we can go Psychic again. and try to do some serious damage here. We can do 50%, 56, okay. Special defense drop, so that's huge. He'll, he'll need quick attack, he can go protect. His special defense drop though, so that heal is probably not gonna matter. We'll see if he stays in or if he lets someone else take a big hit. Okay, so Sylveon's down. So, we'll just keep on having him switch out, lose switch-ins, and uh, finally get it to where we can take down his last mon. Here comes Zapdos. We don't really have a switch in here, because he's going to click uh, Heat Wave. So I think we're just going to click Psychic. See how much we can do here. And we one-shot that. Well, he was uh, softened up from the rock, so Zapdos is down. Here we see Alakazam starting to pick up some speed. Here we see Alakazam. Now, it's gonna click fire. Mamoswan is our best option here. Mamoswan is our best option. We have Thick Bat, so hopefully we can live one attack. Here comes Flamethrower. Wow, the burn. Oh my god, that burn. He's gotten a lot of lucky hits here, so that, so that burn's gonna be massive. 
So yeah, that burns not great. We're gonna go Scizor. Just in case he goes Earthquake here. He might recover, but if he goes Earthquake, then we want to make sure that we're safe. So there's recovery. Yeah, he can have as much health as he wants. If we hit him with a grass move, it's not gonna matter. So there's U-turn. Yep, okay, we're gonna have to go Alkazam and take an Earthquake here, which actually is gonna hurt a lot. So let's see how much did we do. Okay, 75. Now we've gone into Psychic Move a couple times, so let's go Energy Ball, see if he stays in and try to predict Psychic. We're pretty much in a crunch here, so I feel like we need to like have him over predict to try to make a move. And he's seen how much Psychic is doing from Alkazam, so that could make him a little cautious about switching out. But us taking that Earthquake means we have to make a move now, or us pretty much lose the game. So we're making a move, predicting that he's going to assume we're clicking Psychic and we're going to stay in and try to kill. And he does! Wow! Wow! I mean, I don't think we can kill Quagsire or um, Gudra. I don't think we can kill Gudra is the problem. With Mamoswine being hurt already, I don't think we have a way to really kill him here. But we're just going to sack Mamoswine. That burn was massive. That burn was absolutely massive. Here comes Flamethrower. Absolutely massive burn. Uh, we'll go Alakazam. Gudra is going to be a problem. Special defensive, huge wall, probably assault vested, but do we trick? He clicked flamethrower though, so I don't think so. I think we just click psychic, and try to get as much chip as possible. It was actually a pretty good chip. So yeah, trick wouldn't wouldn't have served us there. And we're gonna see how much uh, physical attack can do on Gudra. I doubt we do 43%, so this could be game. But we did as best as we could. Oh gosh, so close. Do we live? No, we don't. Ah, uh, tough one. Yeah. We made the right read, though, on that Quagsire. Quagsire is a problem, but hey, you know, you can't win them all. Unless we uh, got in another game for you guys. I hope you guys like uh, starting off with some of that PvP. Uh, yeah, it's just a tough one. Alkazam going into to an earthquake was not ideal for us, but I felt like we had to like make some moves. And uh, yeah, it's just a tough one, but we'll put that aside and we'll get into our game and enact some vengeance on the NPCs <laughs> and be like, you know what, since we lost, it's all your fault. It's all your fault, NPCs. So let's go from our super strong Pokemons to our, to our Woobats here, to our sad little Woobats. But all right, let's uh, see what else is going on in the world of Pokemon today. We have to make it back to the middle of that forest where we were at last time. Shouldn't be that far. Wubat's pretty uh, fast. Well, fast for our team. So having him in the active spot's probably fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, losing connection. Maybe if we lose connection, I can take away that loss and pretend like it never happened. No, I wouldn't do that. I'm sure you guys want to see the losses as well as the wins. But hopefully the game's okay and staples out. If not, perhaps just logging back in will solve the problem. So we are treated to some nice music. So yeah, I'm trying to think back to that to that loss there. I'm not sure if there was too much we can do. Oh, yeah. And it did kick us out. Let's uh, hop back in. Actually, since we, you guys don't get to see this much, let's go ahead and look at the uh, the opening login screen. It has some beautiful music. Feels like a Disney movie or right? So pretty. Is that from one of the actual games, or is it like a song that, that they chose for Pokemon? One? If you guys know, let me know, because I really like that song. Alright, we're back. 
Let's see if this is going to crash us again. Is this like a portal of crashing? No, we're good. Alrighty. Alright, alright. We're finally into our standard, regularly scheduled program. And let's see if we can uh, find some new Pokemon. Oh, nothing new about you. We might not be able to run from you. Dearling, are you that fast? That's fine. It gives us a chance to get some experience before we got here. I'm curious to see how fast Deerling is. I mean, I guess deer are pretty spry and nimble in the wild, so... Ooh. Fungus? Uh-oh! We don't have you! Oh, uh, I need something with a false swipe. Um, what are you? You're bug? Grass? Psychic? I feel like we might kill you. Mm, who's weak? We don't have anyone weak. He should be some sort of bug or grass. I think grass, so electric shouldn't kill him, even though we have stab. Uh, this shouldn't kill. Okay, perfect, perfect. And now we're asleep. That's fine. We're just going to try to wake up and get one more. Oh, and he's healing up, which is also helpful. So if we crit, uh, we shouldn't kill him. Wow, Fungus, you're kind of annoying. Yeah, Mega Drain and uh, Leech Seed. Or Ingrain, is that what it was? It's going to kill us. This, this level 23 Fungus is going to kill us. Is this a guaranteed wake up now? Finally. <laughs> After he's all the- Oh my god, effects for heal- <laughs> What is up with our luck? That was another thing with our luck in that battle. We got burned twice. So, on Flamethrower and Heat Wave. But, you know, whatever. That's that's in the past. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not playing these games. So, actually, now I, I don't feel so bad about that loss. We had really bad RNG. Which is Pokemon. Pokemon... RNG is, uh, yeah, kind of the bane of every Pokemon player's existence. So, it just happens to us sometimes. Like, really? Like, what is what is happening right now? What is actually happening right now? Luxio, can you evolve, please? Because you're constantly getting bodied by things that you should not be getting bodied by. This is a level 23 Fungus. Look at this guy. Look at this. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I'm doing Volt Switch. I'm gonna just try to do some... Like, you're, you're, you're killing me, bro. I don't think I really have anything... I guess we'll do a Grass on Grass attack. He'll resist it, but it should do... A decent amount of damage. I would assume. Or we might just end up killing this thing and just like, you know what, oh well. Oh my god, that <laughs> I thought it would do more than that. Okay, I'm done with you. I'm I'm done with this guy. I don't even want to catch him at this point. He's bothering the crap out of me. No, but maybe that's good. Maybe I need a Pokemon like that for our PvP. Fungus, you're getting an Ultra Ball because I don't want to waste time with you. I've had it. I'm through. There we go. Okay, new deck entry. Give it up for the, for the, for the new deck entry. Man. This has been a rough episode for me. Losing the PvP. On some burns. Getting disconnected. And having a fungus just body my squad. Okay. And, okay, but now we are back to where we left off. Finally. Only after 20 minutes. Um, but does that mean that we have everything around here? Yeah, I think we've... There's only one thing that we don't know. What is this? Starly or Star Raptor? Tranquil. Oh, it's a Tranquil, not Starly. So, you think maybe that's an unpheasant? Probably is. So, we'll just go ahead and move on. We don't need to search for that. Uh, I will unlock the mechanism and find the secret of your power. It's kind of nosy of you. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Yes. Air cutter. Here we go. Well, bad. when are you going to evolve? I need all you guys to, to evolve now. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my team is so weak. Why are we so weak? Okay, we might have to switch out some people. But we need to start finding some better Pokemon. I was so preoccupied with the mechanism, I forgot to concentrate on the battle. We, we definitely need to up our squad. Wubat! Okay, yeah, we need to find a substitute. Okay, Wubat's not doing the, doing the job, and unfortunately, Luxio is not really impressive. Conkeller, love this guy. He's not going anywhere. Servine, you are our starter, so you're not going anywhere. Actually, I've been really digging Palpito. Palpito's been crushing me as well, and Bulldor. So right now, these two up top are on the chopping blocks. You guys can earn your position and stay, but you're going to have to impress me. That's all I'm going to say. Let's see, we got a Parasol Lady. Water fun with Pokemon. Do you want to play with us? Alright. Ooh, oh no. Oh no! Boldor is rock, so Boldor can take that. I don't think he's ground. I think he's just all rock, right? Let's go to Tantas. It's gonna be the last thing you ever do. Oh no, this is not good though. You're a water ghost, right? I don't think I have anything for you. So we'll go into Luxio. All right, Luxio, here's your chance. Here's your chance to make amends. Go Spark. Furless should not be fast at all. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh oh, I lost. But it was fun. I'm so satisfied. That's that's good. Ooh, Leaf Stone. Don't think we have any need for it. Oh, yeah, we can make a Leafeon, huh? Oh, another Kara Blast. Which is fine, but we should be able to kill you. Unless you do Endure. Aw, <laughs> uh, he, of course he endured on a critical hit. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, Kara Blast goes down. Okay, we're about close to leveling up, so let's actually get you in one more battle before we fight this trainer here. I don't trust you. I'm not gonna lie, I don't trust you. Okay, nice landed. Okay, and there we go. So that should uh, be our next level. Oh, and he's trying to learn amnesia. No, I don't want you to learn amnesia. You're not gonna live long enough for your defense to matter. No. Oh, it's like, oh wait, is he gonna evolve? He's trying to learn calm mind. I don't think we really need Calm Mind. I mean, we don't really need Assurance to be awesome. Okay, sure, let's go Calm Mind. We don't need, need Assurance. Aw, oh, man, he had two moves. I was like, this could be time that he's going to evolve. But he did not. Evolve, he did not. Okay, Palpatone, you're up. We're splashing in the water. This is your time. You love it here, don't you, Palpatone? You live for the water. I will show you how energetic I've become just by being here. Ranger Richard. Is that Richard Simmons? Is that why he's so energetic? He's Richard Simmons. Uh, okay, sir. Wow, and we're faster than you? How? Do I have a choice scarf on this guy and I just don't realize it? So, Emolga, you're flying, right? So, Mud Shot's not gonna hit you. Well, maybe he's not. It just like looks like it. Actually, I wanna try it just to see. Is he just electric or is he flying? And, okay, yeah, so yeah, he is flying. So he's flying electric. Uh, we can do uproar. We'll see, we'll see how much damage uproar does. And, yeah, not bad. Especially if he's locked into... Okay, no, he has double team. That's not good. I would say, if he's just locked into electric attacks, then we're fine. We're, we're not sweating. Shockwave, we, yeah, that's fine. We live that. And down goes Amolga. I love you. I love you. Okay. Nature! If I use this, will my Pokemon also become energetic? A uh, Carbo? A Cherry Berry. When we are surrounded by green, we feel more energetic, don't you think? Thank you, Mother Nature. A lot of hippie vibes. Which is cool I'm for that. Alright, Boldor, you're up. Just leveling up everyone evenly. 
Chargestone Cave seems like a complicated maze, but actually, it's a straight road. Okay. If you say so. I'm hoping that this says new Pokemon, but I doubt it. What are you? Oh, you're a deer. Man. Oh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. I don't think any of these moves actually do much damage on me. Oh. oh no. Forget that that's a fighting move and not, uh, whoa, that did a lot of damage. Okay, let's go with Smackdown again. Don't do it, double kick, darn it. For some reason I think of double kick being a normal move. So I guess it's a fighting move. But we hit nearly pretty hard though. Okay. So yeah, this is the same, same Pokemon, right? Um, all right, let's see what's up there though. How fast are you, 55? Wubat, you're as fast as Palpatode? Is, is Scythematode a, a fast Pokemon? I always thought of him being really slow. I don't know. And that using... He needed Swift Swim to make her fast. But maybe he's just a fast Pokemon. Okay, let's see what's up here. Ah, nice. Oh, okay. Now we're in charge to okay. I thought it was down there. Thanks for waiting. Looks like the nest of Electro-type Pokemon called Calvantula. Don't know why there's a nest here, but there are folks having problems. The leaders of that to fix it. Croc, croc, take it out. Chop it. Yeah! And this here TM's yours. This is my favorite TM, so you can teach a 10-year Pokemon. It's called Bulldoze. Move does damage and lowers the speed of it Pokemon it hits. Some ground-type Pokemon move a little slower than you like. You use Bulldoze, right? You can cover that weakness. I don't know how uh, good you really are. If you think you can go, go wherever. If you think you can do something, keep doing it. Do things how you want. Decide your own limits. Okay. So we have Bulldoze. We already used Bulldoze on our Bulldoze, though. So I guess this was the right way to go. I thought we were just checking out like a dead end. What's up here? Ooh, okay, Scytoad. Oh, this is all the same stuff, right? What? Molga? What? Um, yeah, let's just see what's down here, just to kind of explore all the spots. I'm so sick of you. Dearling, like, I, I can't stand you. And he's just faster than all my Pokemon, so I can't, like, do anything to get away from him. Wubat's gonna die if I switch into him. Conkelder? You can come in. I, I really can't stand these earlings. Uh, uh, none of these things are great. We'll, we'll just go with the stab move then. <laughs> Alright, actually, we're gonna do. Do you do standard repel? Doesn't matter. Oh, what's over here? Okay, is this where we would have gone? Nice, okay. Let's check this out. Here on Route 6, there's a place called Nistralton Cave. Supposedly, deep in that cave, you can find an amazing Pokemon called Cobalion, who is said to have protected Pokemon from the Sea of Fire in ancient... You know that. You can use a move called Surf uh, that lets you move over the water's surface. You can maybe see Cobalion. Wait, so can I do that yet? Why can't I use Surf? Uh, I guess we need a badge. Yeah, I was gonna say, it would be kind of early to get him, right? So we probably need a badge before we can use Surf. At least we can fly. Oh my, your Pokemon team. It seems they can use some help. Rest for just a moment now. Thank you. That's just what the doctor ordered. about the season to go to Celestial Tower in Route 7. I have to ring the bell for my Petalil in Cotton. Okay. Got something... Is it, it's for... Fairy types? I guess? I don't know. What fairy are grass? Here, have this! It's a good thing I talked to you. Ooh, a shiny stone. Okay. Good thing we talked to you. Well, there, well, there's a shiny stone for you guys. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and end the episode there. 
Actually, hold on. Let me just take a little quick. Take a little gander. This way. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And uh, pick up next time where we will be going into this electric cave with Galvantula. I would actually like to get one of those Pokemon. Sticky webs and things like that could be good for some PvP action. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play, and we're going to continue to have some fun. And, uh, yeah, we'll try to maybe not, not lose next time. But until then, as always, I've been Drake Adams, and you guys have been great. Take care.